this meeting to order. Can we please start with a roll call? Council President Corman? Here. Council Member Prince? Here. Council Member McIrvin? Here. Council Member O'Halloran? Here. Council Member Benedetti? Here. Council Member Van? Here. Council Member Perez? Here. Roll call, Mr. Mayor, all present. Okay, thank you. Next, we have the administrative report. Thank you, everyone. First, send our seniors some love this Valentine's Day with a handwritten note or card. This, these messages will be distributed throughout the community to show our seniors how much we care. Drop off your cards by February 10th at the Renton Senior Activity Center at 211 Burnett Avenue North from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. or at the Regency Newcastle, 7454 Newcastle Golf Club Road, Newcastle from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you prefer to mail your card, please allow enough time for your card to arrive at either location by February 10th. Information about preventative street maintenance, traffic impact projects, and road closures happening this week can be found at rentonwa.gov forward slash traffic. All projects are weather permitting and unless otherwise noted, streets will always remain open. That is it, sir. Okay, thank you. Next, we'll open the remote audience comment period. It remains the strong intent of the city to have public comment regularly included on our agendas. Each speaker will be given five minutes to speak. You'll be called upon by city staff member. The staff member will call the speaker's name and unmute the appropriate microphone, which will send an automatic prompt to the speaker of, you have been unmuted. This is a speaker's cue that is their turn to speak. Please begin your comments by stating your name, city of residence, and the topic you're addressing. Speakers should be able to see a timer on the screen. When your time is close to expiring, please work on finishing your comments. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have no one signed up in advance to address council this evening. Okay. For those signed into Zoom, if you'd like to address the council, you can do so by raising your hand. If you're on the phone, you can raise your hand by pressing star nine. I see no one, Mr. Mayor. Okay, thank you. Uh, next up, we have um, three items on the consent agenda for council consideration. Uh, Mr. Mayor? Yes, Council President Corman. I'd like to ask if any council member would like any item removed for special consideration. Uh, seeing none, I move approval of the consent agenda as published. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Corman, second by Councilmember Gervin, that the council concur with the consent agenda. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Uh, unfinished business. Uh, President Corman. Uh, I have no unfinished business tonight, Mr. Mayor. Councilmember Prince. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Councilmember McGervin. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor, the Transportation Committee has um, committee reports to present. Okay. Okay, Transportation and Aviation Committee Committee Report, Addendum Number 1121 to uh, Lease Agreement 001-87 with the Boeing Employees Flying Association Incorporated. The Transportation and Aviation Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to authorize the Mayor and City Clerk to execute Addendum Number 1121 to lease agreement 00187 with the Boeing Employees Flying As uh, Association Incorporated, increasing its land rental rate and extending the lease through December 31st, 2029. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilmember Gervin. I move that the council concur with the Transportation Aviation Committee report. A second. Okay, it's been uh, moved by Councilmember McGervin, second by Councilmember Van, that the council concur with the Transportation Transportation and Aviation Committee committee report. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Okay, the second report is regarding ORCA business cards and pass, uh, business passports. Uh, the Transportation Aviation Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to authorize the mayor and city clerk to execute the 2021-2022 ORCA business cards and business passports agreement uh, to purchase 298 ORCA passes for a total cost of $69,362.48. Mr. Mayor. 
Yes, Councilmember McGurvin. I move that the council concur with the Transportation Aviation Committee committee report. Second. It's been moved by Councilmember McGurvin, seconded by Councilmember Van, that the council concur with the Transportation and Aviation Committee committee report. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Okay, the final Transportation Aviation Committee report is regarding temporary road closures for the Williams Avenue South, Wells Avenue South conversion project. The Transportation Aviation Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to authorize a series of temporary road closures for the Williams Avenue South and Wells Avenue South conversion project, TIP number 28, and adopt a resolution authorizing these closures to accommodate construction required for the project. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilmember McGurvin. Yes, as uh, we heard during the administrative report, uh, I think something about road closures, except when otherwise noted, this will be one of those times, and we're asking council to uh, authorize these uh, particular road closure closures that will help transform our downtown and hopefully minimize the pain uh, in terms of the duration. So I think we have a good plan in place and would ask the council's approval to move forward. So I uh, move that the council concur with the Transportation Aviation Committee committee report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember McGurvin, seconded by Councilmember Van that the council concur with the Transportation and Aviation Committee committee report. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. <clears throat> okay, motion carries. And, and yes, it does signify that the end is near for the construction downtown, which is needed relief for lots of businesses down there. Okay, Council Member O'Halloran. I have no new business, Mr. Mayor. Oh, excuse me. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Councilmember Benedetti. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. I have uh, two committee reports from the Utilities Committee. Okay. The first uh, Utilities Committee committee report is regarding a private storm drainage easement within unapproved City of Renton right of way. The Utilities Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve and authorize the mayor to sign the private storm drainage easement within unapproved Northeast 43rd Street, City of Renton right of way to the Quadrant Corporation. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I move that the council concur with the Utilities Committee committee report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Benedetti, seconded by Councilmember O'Halloran. Does the council concur with the Utility Committee committee report? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Okay, the final committee's, uh, Utilities Committee committee report is regarding a franchise agreement with Extinet System Incorporated. The Utilities Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to enter into a franchise agreement with Extinet Systems Incorporated as a purveyor of telecommunications transmission and distribution systems within the City of Renton. The committee further recommends the ordinance regarding this matter be presented for uh, reading and adoption. Mr. Mayor. I move that the council concur with the Utilities Committee committee report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Benedetti seconded by Councilmember O'Halloran that the council concur with the uh, Utility Committee committee report. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Okay, next up is legislation. We have one resolution and two ordinances, one for first reading and one for second and final. Mr. Mayor, were you going to ask the others if they had uh, un any unfinished business, sir? Oh, you switched it around. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry about that. It's uh, Council Member Van's turn. He doesn't work anymore. Okay, Council Member uh, Van. Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I don't have any unfinished business. Thank you. Okay. Council Member Perez. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. No. Okay. Okay. Now we're on to legislation. Okay, I have a resolution uh, it's regarding the temporary street closures we just discussed. Resolution of the City of Renton, Washington, authorizing temporary full road closures of the South 3rd Street, Williams Avenue South intersection, the South 3rd Street, Wells Avenue South intersection, Wells Avenue South, just north and just south of South 2nd Street, and Williams Avenue South, just north and just south of South 2nd Street for the well Williams Avenue South and Wells Avenue South conversion project. Mr. Mayor. Councilmember McGurvin. Uh, I move that the resolution be adopted as read. 
Second. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member McGurvin, seconded by Council Member Van, that the resolution be adopted as read. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Yay. Okay, motion carries. Okay, and uh, the first ordinance is for first reading only, and it's regarding the Extinet franchise uh, we also just recently discussed. So an ordinance of the City of Renton, Washington, granting Extinet Systems Incorporated, a Delaware corporation authorized to do business within the state of Washington, its affiliates, successors, and assigns the right, privilege, and authority to install communication facilities, specifically fiber optic cable and related appurtenances, under, along, over, below, through, and across the streets, avenues, and alleys of the City of Renton within the public right-of-way of Renton. Uh, Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilmember Benedetti. Yes, I move that we um, move it to move this ordinance to second and final reading at the next council meeting. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Benedetti, seconded by Councilmember O'Halloran that this ordinance be moved to second and final reading at the next council meeting. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Okay, the uh, final ordinance is for second and final reading, and it's regarding the Graves Annexation. An ordinance of the City of Renton, Washington, annexing certain territory to the City of Renton, Graves Annexation, file number A-19-001, and establishing an effective date. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilmember Prince. I move the ordinance be adopted as read. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Prince, seconded by Councilmember Perez. That this ordinance be adopted as read and it requires a roll call. Council President Corman. Aye. Council Member Prince. Aye. Council Member McIrvin. Aye. Council Member O'Halloran. Aye. Council Member Benedetti. Aye. Council Member Van. Aye. And Council Member Perez. Aye. Roll call, Mr. Mayor. All ayes. Okay, next up is new business. Council President uh, Corman. Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, let's see, I'll start out by uh, announcing meetings um, uh, for February 8th. Uh, that's uh, next Monday, 6 o'clock p.m. We'll have a committee of the whole meeting to, via video conference, and we'll go over council priorities and the date selection for the retreat. So we'll, we'll finalize our plan there. Um, and then at 7 o'clock next week, we will have a council meeting. Um, and then also, um, uh, and I, I'm announcing it under new business, but I think maybe it could have been old business, but um, we, the council did receive a letter that was signed by a number of rent and residents um, on the subject of our, our homeless shelter ordinance. Um, and the clerk has, has a copy of that letter. I would like to um, uh, have that letter uh, read into the record and referred to the administration. Uh, maybe at this time you can read it and I'll refer it. Uh, okay. Okay, so it's uh, dated uh, January 23rd, 2021. It's to the Renton City Council regarding the homeless shelter ordinance. Uh, it says, thank you for taking action, allowing for more frequent and thoughtful conversation with the citizens of Renton on the need for zoning changes regarding homeless shelters within the city of Renton. This uh, change in zoning will provide a much needed pause so that we can determine how best our city government, nonprofits, and citizens can help our homeless neighbors during a time of unprecedented need. In April 2020, over 200 homeless individuals were transferred out of the downtown Seattle Morrison Hotel shelter in response to the COVID crisis to the Red Lion Inn. The Morrison Hotel, located four blocks from Harborview Hospital, housed people who struggled in other shelters because of mental illness, addiction, or physical disability. More than 90% of the Morrison Hotel's permanent residents have severe, persistent psychiatric disorders, and 70% have substance use disorders, according to DESC management. Owners of the Red Lion Inn are receiving $370,000 each month for the use of their property, which is roughly the equivalent of operating a fully occupied hotel without the related costs during a pandemic crisis that has decimated the hotel industry. We all agree that homeless individuals are best served by having shelters that are clean and safe with wraparound services, substance abuse counselors, healthcare professionals, and caseworkers, so that people in crisis and homeless can be supported during their return to stability, employment, health, and housing. This ordinance will allow Renton time to take the necessary steps to provide sustainable housing and support 
to the many homeless children within the Renton School District. The current shelter at the Red Lion Inn, as it currently operates, does not provide any of these benefits to the homeless community. The Red Lion is warehousing people with mental and physical disabilities in a building full of mold, lice infestation, and a breeding ground for COVID-19. Now an individual has died, quite possibly from COVID-19. On November 25th, an individual who recently moved to Washington from Hawaii set fire to his room on the sixth floor. According to incident investigators, the individual admitted to using meth and is considered suicidal. Many of the clients living at the Red Lion are mobility impaired. This fire, had it not been detected by a caseworker and locksmith, could have been catastrophic, quite possibly ending with a fatality. Instead of creating a shelter of hope, where the highest priority is the safety of residents, hotel staff, and the Renton community, King County Executive Dow Constantine has created an unhealthy blight. Renton is supportive of permanent supportive housing. Partnering with local faith communities and nonprofits, Renton supports multiple emergency housing options, including Vision House, Way Back In, Arise, Com Compass Housing, Nexus Youth and Families, at Arcadia House and uh, YMCA emergency housing. But the Red Lion Inn is not a thoughtful and comprehensive approach to the homeless crisis gripping our area. People are simply warehoused at the expense of the city of Renton, first responders, and neighboring businesses. For example, on June 27, 2020, six separate emergency medical service units responded to calls at the Red Lion Inn, and they're listed in the report here. And then as we begin to approach our post-pandemic future, we implore you as council members to thoughtfully consider how we can best serve Renton's homeless citizens by requiring the same health, welfare, and safety concerns you have for our residential areas to homeless shelters allowed inside the city of Renton. Please, please, to make, a Renton, please make Renton a safe city for all her citizens, sheltered and unsheltered. And this is signed by, uh, I believe, 27 uh, local Renton residents. Thank you, um, Mr. Mayor. So, I, as I mentioned, I'd I'd like to refer this to the administration. I know uh, administration's working on uh, refinements to the um, to the interim ordinance, and if this could be uh, put with the file for consideration, I would appreciate it. With that, I, I move this item of correspondence be referred to the administration. A second. And it's been moved by Council President Corman, seconded by Councilmember McGurvin, that the letter be referred to uh, administration. Um, let's see here. We do have a uh, conversation. Um, Ms. I believe it's Ms. Van. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to Okay. Yes, Councilmember Van. Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I was just curious, um, was the letter sent to me an email to all council members or is just... I believe to... it was dropped off at City Hall, Council Member Van. Oh, okay. I just wanted to clarify because I didn't see that in the email. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's, it it's kind of came in uh, old school format. <laughs> right. <laughs> we, can scan, we can scan it in and provide it to the council. I'll send it to uh, Julia and Judith after the meeting. Okay, thank you. Okay, call for the vote. All in favor? Any other conversation? Okay, all in favor? Signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Thank you. Uh, that's all, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Okay, Councilmember Prince. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. On um, Monday, February 8th, uh, 2021, at 5 p.m., by a video conference, the Planning Development Committee will meet. We have three items on the agenda. Uh, Docket 15, 2021 Long Range Work Program, and Emerging Issues in CED. That's all, Mr. Mayor. Okay, thank you. Councilmember McGurbin. Uh, no new business, Mr. Mayor. Councilmember O'Halloran. Yes, Mr. Mayor, if I'm allowed to correct myself, I do have new business. On February the 8th, 2021, Monday at 4 p.m., the Finance Committee will be meeting video conference. We have three items on the agenda. The first is Public Works budget changes. Second is vouchers. And third is emerging issues in finance. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Uh, Council Member Benedetti. I have no new business, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Council Member Van. No new business, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Councilmember Perez. 
Thank you, Mr. Mayor. On Monday, February 8, 2021, at 3.30, the Public Safety Committee will meet via video conference. We have one item on the agenda, emerging issues in public safety. Thank you. Okay, what is the wish of the council? Move we adjourn. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member Prince, seconded by Council President Corman, that we adjourn. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Okay, we are adjourned. Thank you.